I got a request to do this video uh, from, I believe your name is Constantine. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, if I got it wrong, then definitely let me know in the comments. I want to get your name right. Basically, he asked me about how I get my sound to sound so present and uh, clear as opposed to his, which he was saying sounds kind of like muddy and muffled. And one of the reasons for that is because when I record my videos, I record it with the camera that I'm using right now but I don't just keep that audio because if I just used that audio it just wouldn't sound as good. So in this video I'm going to be talking about how I take the audio that I have recorded in Reaper in my DAW and then exporting it to the video editing software which is DaVinci Resolve. I already made a video on how to use Reaper so if you're not sure how to use Reaper or how to record then definitely check that out. I'll put uh, the link in the description if you want to check that out later. Alright so we're going to go into Reaper this is the audio thing that I just recorded. So we're going to now go to File, go to Render, and then just name it whatever you want. Uh, Blessing of Darkness Riff. And then go to here, which is the audio file, the type. So I chose Wave because that's higher quality. So Render, and then now it's all ready. So Show and Explorer, click that. Alright, actually we're going to go now to DaVinci Resolve, which is the video editing software that I use. Um, you can probably use whatever you want, but for me I use this because I feel like it's the best uh, free software that I've tried. It's free, so you can just download it for free and it's really good. Alright, so we're going to go back to the file that just rendered, and we're going to click it and just drag it into here, which is the media pool in DaVinci and then we're going to click that and drag it into the timeline right here so now it's there now we are going to get the video that I just recorded so whatever video that you just uh, recorded and we're going to click that and then we're going to drag it into DaVinci to the, uh, the media pool thing this is the video that I recorded at the same time as I recorded the audio in Reaper Alright, so now we're going to click the video, drag it into the timeline. Um, I'm going to click the Reaper audio, which is right here. I'm actually going to drag it down, so now there's a new track. So now if you look at it, this is the video, and right underneath the video is the audio inside of the video, which is pretty cool. Very, very handy. That's going to come in handy a lot. That's a great picture of me. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to drag this Reaper audio all the way to the end of the video audio and just click, just drop it right there because I know that the video audio ends around here and so I also know that the Reaper audio obviously ends right here and so it'll just be easier to line them both up this way uh, for me. So let's just see how this sounds. So let's try to line it up. Now it's the part where you've just lined it up. Uh, this can be kind of tricky at times, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume of the video audio up a little bit because just based on the waveforms, it's definitely quieter and I want to be able to hear them both. So turn it up a little bit. And the way that you do that is this little line right here, and then you hover over it, and these little arrows show up. And you click it, and then you just drag it up or down, and that lets you uh, turn the volume up or down. So that's very handy. Yeah, so now we're just going to try to line them both up. Uh, let's see where this is at again. Alright, so I'm going to drag this a little bit over here, try to line it up. That might be it, actually. It's like almost, almost there. That sounds pretty good. It's like almost perfect, if not perfect. All right, so now we have that. We're going to delete, you know, everything that comes after that in the video because I just want. Just for the sake of this video, I just want to show you the segment where I played the guitar. And so we're going to delete everything that came after and before. 
and this is also going to be helpful for you for figuring out how to edit this. So I'm going to click here, which is right after the audio ends. I'm going to click Control and then double click Backslash. And then it, it split it. So now we're going to click everything that came after. So what I do is I click the video and then I shift click the audio and then delete. So now everything after is done. It's all deleted. And I'm also going to delete everything that came before that, uh, which is basically just me talking. So again, just for the sake of this video, I just want the audio of uh, the guitar. So same thing, just click in, just delete everything that came beforehand. Obviously this is just for this particular situation, uh, so you can delete or not delete whatever you want. Delete. Okay, cool. There you go. So that's the audio that I want. So let's play it. Alright, it's like almost there. You can get like a, maybe a little closer. Alright, that sounds good to me. So what we're going to do now is go to the audio in the video. I'm just going to mute it because now I just want uh, the audio track from the Reaper because it sounds better. So now let's listen to the Reaper track. Sounds like a thousand times better than the other one. Now let's actually just mute the Reaper and play the video audio. Yeah, it sounds just like a lot better with the Reaper. <laughs> Let's take out the video, just put the Reaper. It sounds so much better. I would obviously do more video editing if this was an actual thing that I wanted to upload. But since I don't, it's just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and go to uh, Deliver right down here. And this is where we're going to upload it to YouTube. So now we click on YouTube, which is right here. Or you can click something else, whatever you want. You can click custom if you just want a regular video like on your computer. But I'm going to go to YouTube. You just name it something. Uh, Blessing Riff. And then location. So click browse. And then go to if you want it to be in another location, I usually put it in videos just in case I want it in my videos. Um, and then down here, I go to where it says format. It says QuickTime and all these, oh, oh, just two formats actually. So I click MP4 because for me that seems to be the best when it comes to trying to put your video in other locations other than YouTube. Like if I wanted it on Instagram or something like that, for some reason MP4 works, QuickTime doesn't work, at least in my experience. So I just put it on MP4, seems to be the most versatile in my experience, and then click Add to Render Queue. That's going to show up in here. And then click Start Render, and it's going to start. And now it's going to start rendering. And then once this is done, it's going to show up in your YouTube channel. All right, so I hope that it helped. Let me know if it helped in the comments. Uh, anything else you want me to do as far as, you know, going over my audio stuff or video stuff or both or whatever, just let me know. And uh, if you're new to this channel, um, I post stuff every Monday and Thursday, usually guitar performances, but I also post tips, obviously. And yeah, I hope it helped. Let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, see ya.